Hey guys, so I'm back with another haul video. Um, I've got random things once again. I have a few thrift store finds, um, something from Ross, something I ordered from TJ Maxx, a couple things from Home Goods, and then the rest is Dollar Tree. So if you'd like to see what I picked up this time around, then just keep watching. Okay, I'll start with the thrift store finds because I only have two things. The first thing I picked up was this really pretty, I guess it's supposed to be like a vase or something, but I love the color of it. It's pink and it's kind of like a mercury type. I think that's what they call that kind of design. Hopefully you guys can see like, if you would put lights in here, you'd be able to see the light shining through. So I thought this was really cute and this was only 99 cents. I might put this in one of my bathrooms. My mom had a good idea to maybe put some tissues in it. Um, a box won't fit in here, I tried, but I'm wondering if I could just take the tissues out of the box, put them in here, and then make some kind of lid for it. I don't know, but I thought this would be really cute in one of my bathrooms, so I grabbed that. And then the other thing I picked up is this shelf. Now, I'm not a huge fan of how it looks. I'm going to repaint it. Um, let me just show you. It looks like this. And this was also 99 cents. But it looks like this, and I'm not a huge fan of the hearts. Um, I might try to do like a DIY to maybe cover at least the top of that up. But I'm going to repaint it, of course, and this is going to go in my downstairs bathroom. But yeah, I like I like when shelves have these like little hooks so you can just hang little knickknacks. This one obviously needs to be glued back in, but yeah, I'm excited to find some little knickknacks to hang from that. So those are my only two thrift store finds. Okay, the next few things I picked up are from Home Goods. I picked up a new paper towel holder because the one we had was driving us crazy. Um, and I wanted to get rid of that. It was an eyesore anyway, so I grabbed this one. I thought this was really cool, and I like that it didn't have one of those things on the side that kind of holds the paper towel in, because we get, like, the huge rolls, so it doesn't always... You have to, like, squeeze it in there, and then you can't get it to, t to like, spin to get the paper towels out. So I really like this one. This was only $3.99, and I liked it also because it's kind of like that, um, dark bronze color which is what we're going to be making all of our hardware in our kitchen. So I thought this would look really good with the rest of that. So yeah, I grabbed that. I was really excited to finally find these next two items because I have been searching for these pretty much since last year, like early last year. Um, and I finally came across them. They're both the same size. I know they have different sizes and ones with different sayings on them, but I snatched these two up because they'll match my kitchen perfectly. Um, they are these canisters by the Masterclass Bake Shop. This first one just looks like this. Hopefully you guys can read it. But it says, I can't function without coffee. There we go. But yeah, this one was $6.99. And I just think it's super cute. I'm going to put, um, I might put sugar in one of these and then some coffee Keurig cups in another one. Um, but I just, I had to have these. They're so cute. I also found one that was smaller and was pink and it said tea break kind of wish I would have gotten that one but we don't drink a lot of tea but I guess I could have used it for you know something else but it was pink and I already have a ton of pink in the kitchen and I'm gonna have a ton of pink everywhere else in the house my boyfriend's gonna kill me so I left that one behind but I did grab this one and for some reason this one was $5.99 so this was a dollar cheaper than the other one even though they're the same exact size so I'm not sure why that is but Anyway, this one just says coffee fix. And I just, I had to have these ever since I saw people hauling them last year. I was on the hunt. So I just randomly stopped in Home Goods one day and there they were. So I snatched them up. I was so excited. Okay, so that is it from Home Goods. Next couple items are just two sets of curtains that I picked up on Tar, or not Target, that I picked up on TJ Maxx um, online because I saw that they were on clearance. You get two panels for $15. I thought that was a great deal because curtains can be super expensive. Like I was at Target the other day and I was actually marking down curtains. I was working. So I was marking down curtains and they wanted like $30 just for one panel. I was like, that's crazy. I got four panels for the price of one panel at Target. But anyway, these are actually by Hillcrest Kids. I don't know why they consider these to be kids' curtains. I guess maybe because of the colors, but I fell in love with them when I saw them. And they're still in plastic, so hopefully you guys can see how they look. But I just, like I said, I was really excited to get two panels for $15, so I ordered two sets for the two windows. These are gonna be going in my bedroom. Anyway, they look like this. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's a really pale pink. 
with the silver detailing. And they, I just thought these were so gorgeous. I saw these and had to have them. Um, I'm in the process, kind of, <laughs> in the process of redoing our bedroom again. Um, I did kind of recently just redo it. I have a video up on my channel if you guys are interested in how it looks now. But it's just a lot of black and white and like greens and blues and some gold in there as well. I'm just, I'm just not really, I mean I liked it for a little while. I feel like I just get really bored easily and I'm kind of over how it looks now so I want to change it up a little bit so I'm going to be putting some pink in there. I'm keeping the black and white and the gray because we're going to be painting the walls gray. My bed set is gray and I want to keep some silver in there as well because of the silver on the curtains and then I want to also maybe have some rose gold and some gold so yeah it might take a little while to get that done as well because there's our room is a mess right now I feel we've lived here for like four years and it looks like we still just moved in so hopefully we can get that organized and I will give you guys an updated room tour once everything is done if you guys are interested but like I said if you want to see how it looks now um, along with my bathroom upstairs I'm gonna be redoing that as well to kind of match the bedroom I have those videos up on my channel now if you guys are interested. And this next item I was so excited about because I saw the Glamorous Queen. Um, she did a shop with me video and she showed this in her video and I about had a heart attack. I fell in love with it. It's perfect. It's pink and has some gold on it and the price was just amazing. Hopefully I can get this in frame for you guys. This was from Ross. It's just this giant, like I guess they call this kind of like a collage photo frame but look at how beautiful this is you guys. Hopefully you guys can see, but it's definitely got the, the um, gold detailing on there. And I was like ready to DIY this myself. This was only $12.99 and I know there's 12 frames. So it would have been about the same price, maybe a little more to DIY it myself. But I already had some frames on hand that I would have used. So it would have been a little cheaper. I was actually at Dollar Tree and picked up a few more frames for just to DIY this and then when I left Dollar Tree I was like you know what I'm just gonna stop in Ross I know I, I really don't have the best luck when I'm out looking for stuff that I've seen people posting but I was like I'm just gonna stop in here since I'm over this way can't hurt just go in and look around and there it was I was like oh my god so I snatched it up they also had one that was kind of like a light blue color um that would look really good in my living room so if that's still there when I if I go back I might have to get that one for my living room as well um, but I just oh, I'm so glad I found this this is going to go in my bedroom as well and I think it's just gonna look so pretty with this curtains and everything else that I have in mind for our bedroom so I'm really excited to get working on that so that is everything from all the other random places next I just have a few bags of stuff from Dollar Tree. I didn't find anything too exciting. I only found maybe two or three things off of my wish list. I'm on the hunt for those sequin um, storage bins. I want those so bad and I went, I've went. i been to all three of my Dollar Trees this past um, weekend and none of them had them so I was really upset and I keep seeing people post them and I'm like uh, I need them. So I'm definitely going to keep an eye out for those. I really want the like peachy pink ones with the, like the gold and the silver sequins. Oh, I just think they're so cute and there's of course a whole other list of things that I want from Dollar Tree so you know I'm there every week so I'll be going back. But anyway this first bag these are just the frames that I picked up to DIY this larger frame. Um, I just picked up four of these. And I picked up um, a couple bigger frames that look just like this with that nice detailing. So I was going to maybe exchange these for, you know, something different at Dollar Tree. But I feel like I might still do a DIY with these. I might do maybe like a smaller collage frame and then maybe hang it down here somewhere. So, I mean, it was only $4 since I'm not really out that much and I can still use them. So I grabbed four of those and then those these are 4 by 6 you guys didn't see that next I was really excited to finally find more of the guacamole chips I've been on the hunt for more of these ever since I tried them the first time and of course Dollar Tree hadn't been carrying them for a while so I wonder if it's kind of just like they get them toward like the spring and the summer that's like the only time I tend to see them so I grabbed two bags of these I wish I got more because these are so good I kind of want to bust into these right now but I'll wait till I'm done the video um, but yeah these are by L sub L sub 
Calvasso. I'm not good at pronouncing things. You guys know this, but these are so good. If you see these in your stores and you love guacamole, avocados, you know, they're delicious. Definitely try those. Okay, a few Easter-related things. I finally came across these. I hadn't really been looking for them, but then when I saw someone post them, I thought they were so cute and would look really cute in my kitchen. So I grabbed one of the little bunny baskets and I think I'm going to put like my vase of flowers in here just until Easter. I think that would look really cute. So I grabbed one of the pink one. They also had one that was blue. Um, wherever this is pink, it was blue. So that one was really cute too, but I of course I had to get the pink one. So I grabbed him. And then I came across these, I also saw a bunch of people hauling these and I hadn't seen them until the other day. Um, oh man, the, they're only a four pack. I don't know why I thought there were more in here. But they are the little fabric treat sacks. The little bunny and I thought these were really cute. And I was thinking that I wasn't going to use these as sacks. I was going to maybe make them into like um, an Easter banner. But since there's only four in here and I only got one pack then... I guess I'm just going to make little sacks and then just set them out for decor. But I just thought he was really cute with his little pink nose and cheeks. So, And I love the burlap sack. So I picked up one of those. Okay, next I just picked up another can of this um, power stick. This is going to... I'm kind of talking quietly because my boyfriend's here. And I don't want him to hear because this is going to be going in his um, Easter basket. And I noticed that this is a bonus can. So it's 20% more. And this is the scent that we both really like. And for a dollar, the stuff is actually really great. So that'll be going in his little Easter basket. Okay, next I picked up these pot holders. And I said to my girl, Alicia, I found the matching towel. And I was like, it's a little more green than I want in my kitchen. Um, you guys know I have the teal. Let me see if I can compare it. Ooh. Compare it to this. It's just a tad more green, but I think it'll be okay. Um... And I kind of needed more of like this kind of pot holder. I wish they had the glove kind because I really want another one of those as well. So I'm still on the hunt for that one. I passed on the towel because that one was actually a little more green even than this. I thought this was a little more closer to the teal that I like in my kitchen. So I grabbed the pot holders at least and um, I have a ton of kitchen towels anyway. So I didn't really need another kitchen towel but these I can definitely use and... They say faith, family, and friends. So I really like the colors, of course, and how it kind of looks like wood grain. So pick those up. And for two of them for a dollar, that's always a great deal. Oh, look at my baby. Look, boo-boo. Look. Look at my baby. He's like, I'm done with you. <laughs> okay, so I finally found... The rose gold pens that everybody's been hauling. I already have three of the silver ones that I picked up, I think, a few years ago. But I definitely had to get a couple of the rose gold ones because I love rose gold. Um, so I got the pink and the mint. I don't know if you can tell, but this one's definitely a mint. Um, but yeah, I thought these were so cute. And I definitely had to add these to my little pen collection. So this was one of the items from my wish list. So I'm glad I at least found those. And then another item from my wish list were these really cool candle holders. They look like this. Um, they have these in black and gray as well, but I just went with the white because I figured if I didn't want to keep them white, I could always spray paint them. Um, but I think I will keep them white. I'm going to be using these in our bedroom as well. And the only thing though is I feel like this is a really small... I don't even know if a tea light would fit in here, so I don't know if I will be using these as candle holders or not. Um, I don't know, but they were too cute to pass up for a dollar, so I had to grab two of those. Okay, next I just picked up a bottle of this Spick and Span antibacterial cleaner. My boyfriend, I had actually asked if I could pick this up. I think he wants to clean our floors, which is awesome. So I'm not going to say no to that, right? <laughs> so I picked him up a bottle of this. And this is a nice size. It's 28 fluid ounces. And this was the only um, like color and scent of this that I saw. They also had like spray um, cleaners in the same brand. And they had the green one. And then they had a purple one, which is like lavender or something like that but I got this one so he could clean our floors Anywho. okay so I picked up a few um makeup products because I want to do a full face of one dollar makeup so I needed a few more items um I picked up a mascara and this is the Bonnie Bell fiber mascara 
and it's black. I'm glad it's black because I didn't even check to see if it was black in the store. I just grabbed it. But yeah, it looks like this. And I think that Pretty and Flawed said that this one was really good because they had two different kinds. Um, they had one that was just kind of like a regular mascara, I guess. And then this one is, like I said, the fiber mascara. And I'm pretty sure she said that the fiber mascara was the good one. So hopefully we'll give it a try. I mean, for a dollar. And Bonnie Bell stuff is usually pretty good. So I gave that a try. Um, and then I just picked up this because... I didn't do it this time, but I had been really liking, um, I don't know if you can see over here. I have like a little freckle. It's kind of covered by my makeup, but I kind of like, um, filling that in once my makeup's done, just so it stands out a little more. So I needed a brown liner for that. So I just picked up this LA Colors, um, liquid liner. And I like to use brown because I feel like black is just a little too, um, it doesn't look realistic, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I just like the brown to fill that in. And, yeah, like I said, I forgot to do that today. But I will do it next time now that I have this. So, yeah, pick that up. And this, honestly, isn't the best eyeliner for, like, doing a wing liner. But I figured just for doing a little dot on my cheek, it'll be fine. So, grab that. Okay, now we're down to the last bag here. Got a couple more Easter basket goodies. I picked up two of these Palmer peanut butter filled white chocolate eggs. I thought this was a really good deal for a dollar. And of course I got one. I had to get one for myself. So I got myself one and I also got one for my boyfriend's basket. So I'm really excited. They also had milk chocolate ones if you guys aren't into white chocolate. Um, kind of wish I got one of each, but I guess I didn't really need that much chocolate. But I really like white chocolate and peanut butter. It's really good. So I had to grab two of those. Okay, and then another little thing to stick in my boyfriend's basket. I grabbed these um, Refresh Your Car mini diffusers. And these were kind of on my wish list too, except for a different scent. But then when I found this one, I like this one a lot better. This one I got for myself. Um, this is the Fresh Strawberry and Cool Lemonade. So this smells really good. And then the one I got my boyfriend is Summer Breeze and Alpine Meadow. So I thought that smelled nice and manly for him. So... Yeah, I thought that was just a little cute um, thing to stick in his Easter basket. Okay, next I just picked up one of these um, eye masks. My mom had a really good idea. I get headaches kind of frequently. Um, I'm not sure why. I pretty much have ever since I was a little girl. But she had an idea of maybe getting one of these and to use this when I get a headache. And I thought, you know, why not give that a try? So I thought that was a really good deal. So thanks mom for that. And I picked one up in pink, of course. They had different colors. So, I mean, I feel like even if I don't stick this in the fridge, it'll still be cool enough. It says, um, to cool place in refrigerator for no more than 60 minutes, or you can actually put this in the freezer for no more than 10 minutes. Apply gently to eye area for no more than 15 minutes at a time with 15 minute breaks in between. So I'm definitely gonna be giving that a try next time I get a headache. Okay, just a few more random things. I found another one of the Matchbox cars for my dad. I had previously showed a couple of Volkswagen ones since he is a Volkswagen technician, master Volkswagen technician. So I found this one. This is the 90 Volkswagen Golf Country. So I thought that was really cool. And like I said, I don't know if I'll, his birthday's coming up and Father's Day's coming up. So um, I don't know if I'll be giving these to him now or if I'm going to save these for his goodie bag for Christmas, which I'm thinking I might do. Um, so yeah, I had to pick that up. I thought that was really cool. And then the last two things, I picked up two more of these little block tech figurines for my nephew's, um, birthday box that I'll be sending to him soon. I picked up, this one is the policeman and he loves these little guys. I finally found a whole display of them. Cause like I mentioned before, I only found one just randomly sitting somewhere. Um, and then this one is space operation. So I guess the one guy looks like a little alien and then I guess the other one's an astronaut but yeah I thought he would really like these to go with his other little toys that I picked up for him that's everything guys hopefully you like this haul hopefully it wasn't too rushed um you guys know I just kind of accumulate things here and there and kind of like to put it all in one video so that's what I did and that's what I'll continue to do thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video bye guys oh, I look like a hot mess y'all I picked us, I picked up, blah, blah, blah. and then these other two things I was really excited to finally found because I have, to, <laughs> and I thought that was a great deal because.
Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I don't know why they call call the bit, <coughs> but I need I need some pink in there. I just need some pink in there too. <sighs> what else? My foot's asleep. Oh lord! I'm gonna go eat some pizza now.